Hawkers, welcome to another installment of Sophia Hawk. <laughs> and like always, my first video somehow gets ruined, whether my camera dies on me or the forces of nature, the forces of the Jedi, whatever. Today I will talk about school breaks and sick days. Since this is the holiday season and the weather's changing, and there's both school break, which restarts today through two weeks. Christmas break, man, best thing in the world. Um, um, and sick days, people are getting sick, you know, the weather's changing, it's getting cold some places. Like here. No snow, ever snowing in the northern part of the state I live in. But it can't snow down here. And it's snowing where all my friends live. Not like my friends here, but all my other friends live. So, yeah. Okay. Back to sick days and school days. Alright, with sick days. Sick days and school days. Oh, it's not school days. School break days. School break. Break days. School. Break dance. Break days. Break dance. Sorry. Okay. Break day. Break. School break. School breaks. And sick days. Oh, wait. Okay, so for sick days, sick days are a lot different than school breaks. First off, for a sick day, if you're faking it, you can only have about two or three days off before you either go to the doctor and get some meds if you're really sick, or your parents catch on to, hey, you're faking it. Unlike Ferris Bueller. Well, Ferris Bueller only had one day off. If you've never seen the movie Ferris Bueller, I'm so sorry. You have to watch it. I'm like making you watch it. You sign up for a Netflix. You go to Blockbuster. Blockbuster doesn't exist. Smart. Okay. Find that movie. Watch it. I don't care. Watch that movie. Enough said. Um. Well, for sick days. So, like I said, you only have like three days off. And if you're like my family, you get to sleep in and all, but <laughs> they're gonna make you take all sorts of medicine and vacuum and clean the house and change your sheets and just a bunch of not wanting to stay home and do that type of stuff on a sick day sick day but for school breaks school breaks are a week two weeks maybe even like an extra like day you know if it's like a holiday you get like saturday sunday monday sometimes tuesday like I said, you get like you get to sleep in, and they don't expect much of you. They know you've been working so hard at school. You're just gonna sleep in. You can eat a lot of junk food. Stay in your pajamas unless this holiday season you get dragged out to stores. I fortunately do not have to get dragged out to stores because my family tends to buy stuff on the internet, and then I th they have most of my presents. I, don't, I only know what two of them I'm sneaky like that. Um, so I really don't have to go anywhere until the day after Christmas. Because I got plans. Don't need to do that personal stuff. Um, but yeah. For a whole two weeks. A whole week for me. I don't have to do anything but sit around in my pajamas. Eat junk food. I don't have to worry about homework. With sick days, you you can chill out for that two to three days. Once you get back to school, you're loaded up with work. You got four classes, bam. Like four, of, <laughs> you got about like ten pages per class. So you got like forty stuffs to do. Sometimes you're lucky and you you only take off one day and you missed a homework or something. That's cool. Um, so yeah. You don't have to worry about homework. Once you get back, you have to worry about all that. But right now, I got a whole two weeks off. I don't even care about schoolwork anymore. Um, let's see. I have a list of cool, like, of like good reasons supporting a school break. Um, well, both involve sleeping in. I already said that. Um. Like I said, at one point for 
sick days, you're going to have to wake up, whether it be a doctor's appointment or your parents want to give you some medicine or any of that stuff. Um, but for school break, most of the time you get to sleep in until your body's kind of like, hey, you're hungry, you got to go to the bathroom, wake up. <laughs> um, and then eating. Well, when you're having a sick day, if you're really sick, you're mostly going to get stuck to soup and all that sick s s food stuffs. But on school breaks, get the lazy food. Unless you have like a holiday. Thanks Thanksgiving, um, you get all like the good food for school breaks. And Christmas, that's kind of like Thanksgiving food, I guess. Um, and like the, every like Every school break there has to be some sort of holiday. And most holidays do kind of have like a present or like something good involved in that holiday. Like Halloween, well you don't get Halloween off. Unless it's on like a Saturday or something. Or Sunday, whatever. Um, but you don't get Halloween off, but yet you get candy. Because Halloween is the candy holiday. I just did like a circle. It wasn't even a circle. It was like, I don't know why I just said and then Thanksgiving, your whole week off, and you get food. Turkey, stuffing, all that delicious food. And Christmas, as we all know, we get the presents. And if your family is all big into religion and stuff, um, you get holiday food. And this isn't just for Christmas. Like, um, Christmas break doesn't necessarily mean Christmas break. Because I know people tend to celebrate other holidays such as Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, other holidays I've never heard of, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, school breaks are way better than sick days in my opinion. And if you're, and I bet everybody by now is on a school break, hopefully. Um, so none of you should be having a sick day. You're lucky if you had all this week as a sick day, sick days, and then you have like a whole other two weeks. That'd be kind of cool. You'd, you'd, you'd still worry, though. <laughs> you'd end up worrying the second week of the break. You'd be like, oh, I missed a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, anyways, that's kind of what I, how I feel about the topic of school break versus sick day. It wasn't supposed to be a verse, it was supposed to be like cool reason. I don't know. I don't know what I was going for. I just thought, hey, school break, sick day, kinda Christmassy, kinda not. Um, I wish all of you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all that good stuff, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, even if you don't celebrate, I wish you a happy winter holiday season thing yeah and I'll probably be making more videos probably more surrounding the topic of Christmas not stuff going up to Christmas um I'm gonna do a vlog yes it's not gonna be like my crappy one hey that was my first vlog and that place was kinda cool in my opinion I'm not like a lot of people this one, we're going to North Carolina, and we're going to watch hockey. Of course, I love hockey. Do I have any hockey stuff? Hockey, yeah. You probably can't see that hockey, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll get some good vlogs. Good vlogs, I promise. Um, so, stay tuned. Uh, pro I'll, I'm going to try and persuade Z to do a meow time. Uh, check out her channel as well. I'm always pointing out her channel. like, hey, I'm talking about sick days and school days. Sc school breaks. Check out her channel. Uh, yeah, subscribe to me. Subscribe to my dog. I don't know. Subscribe. I've spent like five minutes talking about subscribing. Merry winter holiday thing. See you guys in the next.